Intel set for 28.2 nanometer chip in 2024. Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger reiterated on the conference call that all products are operating on track, following the publication of the company's third quarter 2023 earnings. He also made a statement on the increasing rivalry that ARM-based central processor unit offers are posing in the personal computer market. Hello and thanks for stopping by. To avoid missing any of our new videos, be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell notification feature. Sharing is greatly valued and we appreciate your participation and feedback in the comment section below. Let's start by talking about Intel's current product portfolio, which consists of three product lines and has shipped about 150 million devices during its life cycle. There's a lot to talk about. The 12th generation Alder Lake, 13th generation Raptor Lake, and 4th generation Sapphire Rapid Central Processing Units are among these product ranges. Furthermore, on the same Intel 7 process node, Intel just announced its 14th generation Raptor Lake Refresh Central Processor Units. The company's main focus seems to be on the next generation Intel 4 process node, which was first unveiled on December 14th together with the Meteor Lake 1st Gen Core Ultra Central Processor Units. Pat retorted that while they take competition in all its forms seriously, they don't see it as posing a particularly big danger all around. This was an answer to a query on the most current developments in the personal computer industry, which mostly concerned information about ARM-based CPUs from NVIDIA, AMD, and Qualcomm. According to Intel, it has a wide range of chips that are well-positioned in the client PC market. With these CPUs, Intel would be able to keep up its advantage in the PC market. Qualcomm officially entered the PC market with the release of the Snapdragon X Elite Central Processing Units CPUs, which are based on the Orion CPU architecture. The company is optimistic that the chips will be accessible by the middle of 2024 based on early performance and efficiency statistics. The CEO of Intel claims that Intel 3 will be ready for production by the end of 2024. It will also be the main engine for the two major Xeon launches that happened in the same year at Granite Rapids in the second half of 2024 and Sierra Forest in the first half. The Sierra Forest central processing units will employ the Sierra Glen E-Core architecture, in contrast to the Granite Rapids central processing units which will use the Redwood Cove P-Core architecture. Both CPUs will be able to operate on the same Birch Stream platform, which will be offered in LGA 4710 and LGA 7529 configurations. With up to 288 cores, Sierra Forest is expected to take on AMD head-to-head -head in the cloud data center industry, which is now dominated by AMD EPYC Bergamo CPUs with Zen 4C cores. In this market segment, Sierra Forest will have the ability to compete with AMD. The company also affirms its offerings of next-generation client products, including Panther Lake on 18A and Arrow Lake on 20A. With a newer Intel 20A manufacturing node and a slew of new features that can put Intel ahead of TSMC in terms of transistor technology, Intel's next-generation Arrow Lake chips are built on the same design philosophy. Intel's 20 node, 2 nanometer, which has cutting-edge technologies like the power via backside power delivery, will be used for the first time by Era Lake. With this method, all of the transistor's power is directed through their backsides, dividing power delivery to that side, while the data transmission interconnects on the other side continue to be located in their customary locations. Among the many advantages that result from this are the ability to create denser transistor arrays, enhance voltage droop characteristics to unlock higher frequencies, and facilitate faster transistor switching while simultaneously permitting denser signal routing on the chip's top. Signaling gains from quicker wires with lower capacitance and resistance made possible by the streamlined routing. In 2024, Intel will set the industry standard by producing the first chips with backside power delivery in large quantities. This technology won't be integrated by TSMC until 2026. In addition, Intel's 20A process incorporates gate all-around GAA technology, the company's first new transistor architecture since the introduction of FinFET in 2011. In Intel's architecture, there are four stacked nanosheets with a gate completely encircling each one. According to Intel, this design allows for lower area and faster transistor switching with the same dry current as numerous fins. This makes sense because other chip makers have previously adopted various iterations of this transistor technology. According to Intel, the 18A node is still on schedule to be ready for production in the second half of 2024. TSMC will be the last to implement the new kind of transistor, 
with plans for its N2 node with GAA to come in 2025. The low-volume SF3 e-pipe cleaner node won't be mass-produced, despite Samsung being the first company to build GAA for shipping products. Rather, later this year, the company says, it will introduce its advanced node for big-volume manufacturing. The business expects to achieve manufacturing readiness for 20A in the first half of 2024, as per the plan. The product designated as the lead product is called Aero Lake, and its introduction is scheduled for the latter part of 2024. Intel's Ribbon FAT and PowerVIA technologies, which will propel client chips for desktops, laptops, and the 8i PC segment to the next level of power efficiency, are already fully developed. Artificial Intelligence Personal Computer is referred to as AIPC. Clearwater Forest, the replacement for Sierra Forest, is the first product to be created on the 18 at Process Node, which is currently accessible to customers from outside the corporation. This is scheduled to happen in 2024's first quarter. For Panther Lake, it is also prepared to enter the fabs in the first quarter of 2024. It is projected that the 18 at process node will be manufactured ready by the latter part of 2024. A rising number of IHAS test chips are also being incorporated into fabs that use the 18 a manufacturing node. Two new clients focused on high-performance computing applications have been added to the 18 a node, according to an announcement issued by Intel regarding Foundry Services. With considerable progress being made and talks for a formal contract starting, it is expected that a definitive deal will be struck with a separate client before the year 2024 ends. Intel has already signed a contract with Synapses and ARM to produce intellectual property IP for Intel 3 and Intel 18 a process nodes. With its 18 a process node, Intel had already been successful in securing a Department of Energy DOE project. According to Pat, there is a lot of potential in the personal computer industry for artificial intelligence, and the business believes that by 2030, the market would grow to be worth $1 trillion. With its client products, which include Aero Lake, Lunar Lake, Panther Lake, and Meteor Lake, Intel hopes to play a major role in this ecosystem's ongoing development. Furthermore, by the year 2025, Intel hopes to have enabled artificial intelligence on 100 million personal computers through the PC Acceleration Program, the world's first AI initiative. With the goal of bringing artificial intelligence to a large audience, Intel plans to work with over 300 i-accelerated features and over 100 independent software suppliers, ISVs. As of the third quarter of 2023, 1 million Sapphire Rapids, or Intel's fourth-generation Xeon central processor units, had been shipped. By the end of November 2023, the company hopes to surpass the 2 million unit milestone. In summary, Chipsilla remains confident that the cities of Sierra Forest, Granite Rapids, and Emerald Rapids will allow them to recapture market share in the data center industry. Because Gaudi offers very competitive performance at an excellent total cost of ownership, Intel believes that the accelerator will play a major role in driving its artificial intelligence business. Generally speaking, 2024 will be a big year for Intel as the company tries to establish itself in the client and server market through the introduction of strong product families and a renewed focus on AI. You can expect more from Intel this coming 2024. That's where we wrap things up for this episode. It is actually a great deal sticking around until this point. Here's a quick recap of what to do before a new video is published. First up, be mindful of our uploading schedule and timing. You can also keep up with new video uploads by clicking the like, subscribe, and notification buttons. To freely support of work, you can return the favor by sharing our content and making this channel your home for valued information. Also, your feedback in the comment sections below is greatly valued, some of which will be featured in new video releases. Thanks for watching this episode and do have a splendid day.